Hello, what we're going to do today is to remove the background from a picture. So we'll go File, Open, select the picture we want to remove the background from and import it to the stage. So we're going to remove this blue background and just leaving this little character. First thing to do is to go over to the Layers panel here on the right hand side, double click on the background, we want to unlock it so we can actually get to work on it. So we double click that, um, we won't bother renaming it, we'll just OK it and it unlocks the this uh, layer here so we can now get to work. We'll go over to the left hand toolbar and we'll click on the quick selection tool and I want the magic wand selected. So I left click the magic wand, it gets highlighted and we bring over the little cursor that has now got the magic wand on the end of it. Now up here we've got the tolerance, we'll set the to tolerance at 32, it does actually start from 0 to 255, but we'll uh, keep it at 32. I've done another tutorial that explains the settings of the tolerance and the contiguous anti-alias and sample all layers, there is a, another tutorial that covers that, but basically the 32, what that means is this little magic wand will select 32 shades of the color it's sitting on, in this case it's blue, 32 shades lower and 32 shades higher. So I'll just click on here, left click, anywhere on this blue, and you can see the marching ants have come all the way around the outside of the picture and also round the outside of the little character that we want to keep. But as you can see down the bottom here, the darker blue has also uh, has not been selected to be removed. Um, so for that to be removed we will have to increase the tolerance so we'll do that by going back up here and just clicking by the 32 delete that and we'll put in 80 now I know 80 will actually work so I've done it before so I'll now just left click and you can see down the bottom here at the moment I'll left click it and it's now selected the darker blue as well and that won't be left in the little character here when we remove the background. Right, the next step is to come up here to select at the top of the toolbar, left click that and click inverse. Now you know that you've done it right when the outside marching ants have been removed from the outside perimeter of the uh, picture. We can now go up to the refined edges and we can left click that and we can see what sort of job we've done in removing the background. Uh, this is just giving you uh, a look to see uh, what it'll look like and we can see that that doesn't look too bad, the nice sharp black lines from the outline there, I can't see any blue. Um, these settings I'll just go through quite quickly with you. Um, if I just click on this little black box here and I on the contract and expand if I plus the contract and expand slider, you can see what it's done, it's moved the little marching ants further out, so it's expanded them away from the, uh, the little character here. And by doing so, it's left a little blue halo, so that's the blue background, and that would still be visible uh, on the cutout. So we don't want that, so I'm going to bring the contract down to zero, that's normally the default setting and that works pretty well. So we go back to the uh, the white uh, background there and you can see with the we've got the contrast setting here and if I take the contrast down to zero it's all gone rather sort of fuzzy around the outside of the, uh, the little character. So if I increase that up to about 40 let's say, 39, that's a nice sharp black outline there and that looks pretty good to me. So we won't bother with the other settings here, we'll leave them on their default settings. I'm just going to OK that now and that will remember that. So what we want to do now is to remove the uh, blue background per permanently. So I'm coming down to the bottom of the uh, layers and I'm going to left click on the add layer mask, left click that. That has now removed the background from the 
uh, the, the picture here. Now I've got to go over and to the delete layer I'm going to left click that the little box here opens up and I'm going to apply this layer that's applied the layer and now that has permanently removed the background from the picture so all we will have left is just this little character without a background and you can now import him, export him, do what you like with him onto different backgrounds uh, but first of all we've got to save it so we'll go file save as and it must be saved as a PSD Photoshop PSD very important so we'll save it as image 1 cut out and then just press save and that's the job done thanks very much indeed I'm an absolute beginner.